Hi everyone, it's Costanza and I am very glad to be sharing some of my writing today with the Rulebook Readings Initiative. Um, this project is created by Nothing in the Rulebook with the aim to share and promote uh, stories during lockdown. So thank you Ellen and thank you Sam for launching this great initiative. Today I'm going to be reading a scene uh, from my unpublished uh, debut novel. The novel is called The President and is a feminist dystopia which pictures a world where politics and entertainment have long been the same thing. In this world, the most popular show is a reality TV show called The President, uh, where young girls coming from poor backgrounds have to entertain high-profile politicians. The scene I'm going to read is um, a scene where the protagonist remembers something from her past. Here it goes. Before I was caught and forced to join the president, I had escaped once already, though I didn't realize it at the time. When I was 14 years old, a group of men and women in rich suits visited my school. I had never seen such richness except on TV. One of the women had golden earrings and hair bleached blonde. The school of the slum was near the border with Chinatown, and it was as devoid of color as Chinatown was bright. The building was dark green and brown, with small whitewashed windows. The only color was on the poster of the president right next to the entrance, with its red and orange propaganda signs. From the school windows, I could see the back streets of Chinatown, where sounds and colors were loud and mismatched, alleyways lined with love hotels advertising the rooms by the hour and eastern food chains. When the men and women in golden suits arrived, our teacher introduced them as TV producers, scouts for the most successful reality shows of the West. They were looking for the smartest and prettiest girls in every school. If selected, the girls would be sent away, though no one said where. They would be entertainers, the blonde woman said. The scouts walked between the rows of desks. They slowed down when they came to mind to take a closer look. Feeling self-conscious, and because I found the blonde woman disgusting from up close, her skin was orange with foundation and she smelled like smoke, I faked the sneeze and started biting my nails. She walked past me, disgusted herself. They were also looking for a graceful and respectful attitude, they said. No girl was chosen that day. We weren't pretty or graceful enough. Who would have thought that nearly ten years later I'd be here, in this very palace, being the entertainer those rich people wanted us to be. That's the end. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it.